In this video, I wanna dive into Kittle really quick and show you how I made a font using Kittle Flows. It was super, super easy. I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's jump right in. So here is my Kittle project. I'm gonna walk you through what I did using a new feature. You might've seen it already. It's called Kittle Flows, and you might be able to tell from all of these boards that say Smart Board on it. This is the flow, right? The Kittle Flow. And these are all Smart Boards that are all connected to each other. And so right here, I've got my own font. If I hit the T button, Button. Now I've got some text. I'm just gonna type in font. Let's make this a little bigger so you can see it. Uh, just so you know that I, I th you know, that's not an image or whatever. It's over here. I've labeled it black letter test. Not really anything super fancy, uh, but there it is. Okay, it's not perfect, but this is just so cool to be able to get a concept of something in you know about 30 or 40 minutes. And so let's walk through how I did this. So you can see here there's this artboard over here on the left, and it's a bunch of kind of gothic black letter style letters. And what I did to get this is actually I used ChatGPT. Um, Chat we have ChatGPT already embedded in Kittle over here on the left. So what I did was I asked it to start generating some letters in a uh, gothic style. So here is one prompt that I put in. It's pretty simple. Create a capital H in a gothic style. And I was like, ah, okay, that's pretty cool. Now remember, I'm doing this for kind of proof of concept. I'm not, I'm not doing this necessarily to like formulate a whole grand master font bundle that I'm gonna sell. This is just like so that I could figure out if this would actually work. So then I said, well, let's create a, a lowercase h. And then I was like, you know what? Generate all the capital letters in the same gothic flat nib style. So it was missing some letters. So I was like, all right, generate the I and the N is the, in this exact same style. You know, it did okay. So I was like, let's go ahead and grab this. And so I put it here on this artboard. And then what I did was I hit this little arrow here, or you can go over here into the right and click click add smart board. So if I go ahead and click that arrow, it's going to make a smart board down here. And then there's a prompt box on the right that I can type into. I'm just going to delete this one because we don't need it. But I clicked this one and then I type generate all of the lowercase letters in the same gothic style. And I'm not going to lie to you all to ask it for something so intense, in my opinion, with such little prompting effort. I literally just said generate all the lowercase letters in the same gothic style. I didn't give it any information about X height or Y height. And you can see it's not perfect. The idea was, can I get something that is potentially usable? And I mean, this is decent. And so I was like, okay, well, let's keep going. We're missing some letters. So we're missing the J. So I added a smart board, generate the letter J. I added a smart board, generate the letter Y. So then I clicked another smart board. I just made a bunch of smart boards. I just clicked this and I just clicked arrow, 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 arrow. I just made a whole bunch. Clicked on this one, generate the numbers zero through nine in the same gothic nib edge style. So I would always tack on in the same gothic nib edge style. Uh, I noticed the four was missing. You can tell it's way over here. That's all it is. You know, sometimes I would connect boards together. So you can see this one is connected to this one because I wanted to see what a different version of that explanation mark would look like. Then I started testing it. Just, these are just individual letters. If you grab this and hit convert to image, this is any smart board you can do this with. Um, you can simply remove the background and you don't need to, the, the software I'm going to show you is free that you can use. But if you wanted to, you could go ahead and vectorize this and then it becomes a vector letter. Uh, it's, you know, you can't change it. It's just the letter in, but you can tell it's really nice and clean. And so now I can change the color, but you don't actually need to do that for the software that I'm going to show you the, the free font software. I was also looking at uh, other fonts that we have. If we go over here into the textile and type black letter. I was just comparing, you know, it's all these incredible, awesome uh, black letter fonts we have. So you don't need to do what I'm showing you. Maybe you want to make a completely different, I don't know, wonky bubble chrome letter font. You go for it, go wild. So I got all these characters and then I made them all. Uh, I, I just, I could have just clicked transparent background. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know why I did not do that. I don't know why I, it would have been a, a lot more consistent, easy work for me. I don't know why I didn't do that, but you can just click transparent background hit generate and then it won't give you this cream color thing. But I would always just, for some reason, have to convert it and then remove the background like this and then it will do it and then there it is. And so what I did was used a, uh, a free tool called Calligrapher. What Calligrapher will do is take these worksheets that you use, you can either print these out. I just took a picture of them. I just 
put all of these elements in their little places. You can see they're already here. So explanation point, uh, quotation mark, eight, D, E, they're all here, okay? And so with the free plan, you only have up to a certain amount of characters and it's only you know for a personal license or whatever and you can only do one font at a time, but you can just upload a PDF, you can upload an image, you can try using the QR code thing. I've never really had much success with that. Create glyphs and alternatives and stuff like that if you want to. It's all paid stuff that you'd have to do in Calligrapher, but then as you can see, uh, it gave me my OTF, my TIFF file, to download and it's it's all here i mean it, it's super cool and you can see yeah the j is like not right you know what i'm saying if i get in here like the f and the e and the d and the c these are all pretty decent and then the j because i did it separately when i sized it down it wasn't right and so that's where ai doesn't necessarily get it correct and i would probably take all of this redraw all of them make sure all of it is consistent because that's how i like to do things if i was going to actually make this and sell it but you don't even have to really use chat gpt if you don't want to i could have let's say generated the y with ai um, and i really like how this y looks i could have that on an artboard and then or maybe i got the y from somewhere else whatever i don't know you know wherever you got it from i can add a smart board and then over here i'm gonna hit transparent i'm gonna say generate a complete lowercase alphabet in this same gothic nib pen style. I'm gonna give it all of them black letter, keep all of the strokes and heights consistent on each letter and transparent and let's hit generate and let's see what happens i mean look at that i mean that's it's not necessarily using all of the space but if we do like a quick little quick little test let's just see what we've got so we'll do a little block here and we will make sure this is here and then let's just see make this red let's see if we're like cons somewhat consistent and it's like, okay, we're like a little bit out of it. By the time we get to the bottom one, you can see here now we're, we're not quite where we need to be, right? So it's like, this is perfect for ideation. And, you know, it's, it's cool for the concept and still being able to get something and then reiterate on it. You could make each of these letters their own box and really fine tweak it to get it exactly how you want to. Or just make a wonky hand lettered font. Like maybe you want to draw out in your handwriting, add a smart board to it, and then create your own font from your handwriting. I mean, that's really, really cool. And then add a smart board, generate the numbers, add the smart board, generate the characters, and then you can use a software like Calligrapher or another free font software. There are probably several I don't know of. And then you can get something really cool, really fast. And I just wanted to know what you all think. I thought this was a cool thing. If you're new to Kittle, thank you so much for watching. Please sign up using the link down in the description. You can get started with all of this. You do have some free credits on the free plan for a limited time. I'm not sure how long those are going to be available. So you want to get in there and start playing with them. We have two modes, a high and a low. Maybe you're using it to generate styles. Maybe you're refining a sketch into a vector. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss cool videos like this because I, I thought this was pretty cool. If you don't think it's cool, let me know in the comments. If you do think it was cool, let me know in the comments. And what else do you want me to do in flows? Like I'm happy using credits to test your all's theories and ideas. So if there's something you want to see, let me know and let's test it out with Kittle Flow. So comment all of that down below. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.